Good morning students. So today we will start with our third chapter that is the nouns and kinds of nouns. So students what is a noun? See everything around us has a name whether it is people, place, animal, things everything has a name. You have a name, your mother has a name. Even a small pet animal at your house has a name. The things which you like has a name. The things which you eat has a name. The things which you play has a name. Okay. Then, when you go to some garden, that has a name. When you go to see a movie, that has a name. So, everything around us, around us has a name. All naming words are called nouns. Everything which has a name, all naming words are called nouns. What are they called? They are called nouns. And students, we all, we, we know that all nouns has a common name. But some nouns have a special name. Now see. Nouns, words which are used as names of persons, animals, places or things are called nouns these there are different types of nouns now words which are used as names of persons animals places or things as i told you that everything has a name everything which is surrounded by you everything which you use everything where you go animals birds everything has a name and that is called a noun now there are different kinds of nouns common noun proper noun and collective noun so now Let's understand all these kind of nouns in detail. So, common noun and proper nouns. Now see, what is the difference between common and proper nouns? I will tell you, see. We know that all nouns has a common name. All the nouns has a common name. What are nouns? As I said that everything around us has a name and it is called a noun. Now, all nouns has a common name. That is called a common noun. But there are some nouns which has a special, specific, particular name. And they are called, what are they called? They are called proper nouns. Now see, all common nouns as in see, boy, dog, fort, car. These are the general names of person, animal, place, thing. Okay. And so they are all called common nouns. But if for example, I say that there is a boy whose name is Ricky. Then what is Ricky? This is a particular specific name of a boy. And so Ricky here is a proper noun. What is Ricky? It is a proper noun. In the same way I will say that um, Ram has a dog whose name is Pluto. Okay. I am saying that Ram has a dog. So yeah, Ram is also a name of a person. And Pluto is a name of a dog. So these are particular specific name of a person and animal so these both are proper nouns now fort but if i say that the red fort then it is a proper noun because it is a particular name of a place and car if i say only car then it is a common noun but if i take some honda city or some name of a car then it is a proper noun okay so these are the names given to the people, animal, place or thing. They are called proper nouns. See, here. If you are talking something in common, it is a common noun. Okay. If you are talking something in common, as in nothing specific, then that is a common noun. But if you are talking something specific, then it is a proper noun. If you are talking about something very specific, then it is a proper noun. See, city is a common noun. If you take that only city, then it is a common noun. But if specifically I say that Ahmedabad, that is the name of city, is a proper noun. If I say a particular name of a city, then, then it is a proper noun. Now, for example, river is a common noun. So, there are many rivers okay we are describing this as a river which is a common word for every rivers so it is a common noun 
But now if I am specifically taking a name of a river which is river Ganga or river Nile then this is called a proper noun because I am specifically talking about a particular river. Now in the same way mountain. There are lot of lots of mountains. So if I say mountain then it is a common noun. But if I say a name of the mountain the Himalayas then I am specifically talking about only the Himalayas. So it is a proper noun. We use a capital letter only when we start a sentence. Now when you start a sentence you always use a capital letter in common noun. But all proper nouns always begin with a capital letter. Whether the proper nouns come in between the sentence or at the starting of the sentence or at the end of the sentence. All the proper nouns always begin with a capital letter. Did you understand students? So, anything in common is a common noun. But if you are talking something in specific, we know that all nouns has a common name. Okay. But some nouns has a special name. And nouns having a special name are called proper nouns. Do you understand kids? Now, let's go through some examples of common noun. Chairs and table are made of wood. So, your chairs and table are things. They are things. What are they? Things. And so, they are common noun. The postman brings our letters to our homes. So, your postman, teacher, barber, cobbler, anything you take. They are all common nouns because they are commonly used. Okay. The peacock is the national bird of India. So, your peacock and Indy is a common noun. The moon and stars shine in the sky at night. Dogs bark at thieves. Dog it describes an animal and thieves here describes a person. So, these both are common nouns. And let's go through some examples of proper noun. Max was born in India. Okay, now see kids. Max is a name of a person. It is a particular name of a boy. Here it is not written that this boy is born in India. Okay. Here a particular name of a person is given that is Max. And a particular name of a country is given that is India. So Max was born in India. Where was Max born? He was born in India. Which is a specific name of a country. So here Max and India both are proper Noun. Now, Paris is the capital of France. So, this both are a specific name of a particular country. And so, both are proper noun. Number 3. Ashok lives in New Delhi. Now, where does Ashok live? Ashok here describes a particular name of a person. And New Delhi describes a particular name of a State. Okay. So, Ashok lives in New Delhi. And so, and so, both are proper noun. Ahmedabad is the city I live in. In the same way, we are talking about a city over here whose name is Ahmedabad. It is a particular name of a city. And so, it is a proper noun. The name of my school is Shri Vidyanagar English Medium School. So, there are many names of a school. But you are particular talking about this specific school. So, Shri Vidyanagar English Medium School is a proper noun. So, students, did you understand over here? What is a common noun? What is a proper noun? And how they both are different from each other? Right? You understood. Okay. Now, Collective noun. This is one more different kind of a noun. And that is what? Collective noun. So, what is a collective noun? When you have a collection of things, 
a bunch of things gathered in many 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 quantity a lot 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 many quantities that is called a collection and it is also called a collective noun now when a noun stands for a collection of things or person considered as one complete whole is called collective nouns okay so what is says that when a noun stands for a collection of things i mean lot of things or persons i mean many people considered as one complete whole jo ek ek jaisa consider hota hai there are many but it is considered as one then that is called collective noun okay it is a naming word that represents a group of animals or a group of things or a group of persons okay कलेक्टिव नाउन इज अ नेमिंग वर्ड वो क्या रिप्रेजेंट करता है इट रिप्रेजेंट्स अ ग्रुप ऑफ एनिमल्स अ ग्रुप ऑफ थिंग्स अ ग्रुप ऑफ पीपल एंड सो ऑन फॉर एग्जाम्पल सी फैमिली इन अ फैमिली वी हैव मोर देन थ्री टू फोर पर्सनस सो इट डिस्क्राइब्स अ ग्रुप ऑफ पीपल देन सेट ऑफ टूल्स ओके देर आर मैनी 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 टूल्स सो सेट ऑफ टूल्स देन हर्ड ऑफ काउज If it is one cow, then we say cow. But there are lot, lot, lot many of cows. Then we will write herd of cows. H e r d, herd of cows. Army of soldiers. Lot of soldiers, many soldiers. Flock of sheep. When a lot many sheep are going nearby your house or on the road, that is called a flock of sheep. Okay. Here set stands for collection of tools. Your flock of sheep sets for lo, uh, stands for a lot many sheep. You understand, students? Now see over here. Ah, uh, some examples of collective nouns. See, these are some examples of collective nouns, which will help you to write the sentences in a better way. Okay, a family. a set of tools a herd of cows a bunch of grapes a class of pupils a range of mountains a bunch of keys an army of soldiers a flock of sheep a bouquet of flowers a heap of stones a bundle of sticks a herd of cows a packet of chocolates a library of books a swarm of bees and a collection of stamps what does all these means these means a bundle of sticks means a collection of sticks a library of books means many many books a collection of books there are they are more than many 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 so these all are called collective noun which are many but are considered as one whole let's go through some examples of collective noun see the police were trying to control the gang the police were trying to control the gang gang as in the gang of thieves okay the choro ka jo pura gang hota hai that is yahan uski baat ho rahi hai okay so gang is many thieves so police is trying to control the gang so here gang is our collective noun after that the army of soldiers marched into battle that is many many soldiers marched into battle a sheep had a crew of 100 soldiers a sheep had what a crew of 100 soldiers a group of 100 soldiers a bundle of sticks are lying on the table a collection of sticks a bundle of sticks are lying on the table a swarm of bees flew out of the hive 
as in the honeybees they live in a hive so a swarm it is called a swarm a swarm of bees flew out of the hive okay students these are all examples of collective nouns so you have to place them properly and learn it okay i will be sending the worksheet which you have to do it by your own and i have mentioned the example in that thank you